Before we jump into plotting and um, some of the other cool features in MATLAB like uh, image processing or audio processing, let's learn some uh, features like um, uh, trig, like sine, cos, cosh, and sinh, and uh, complex numbers and stuff like that, which are useful and in MATLAB. So let me actually come into the command window. I don't want to write a script here. Pi, which is just P and I, is the pi number. 3.1416. If I get a the cos of pi, it will give me a minus one. A cos of two times pi gives me plus one. So cos is basically the cosine, and it takes uh, a radian uh, for the angle. But I can say cos d and put 180 degrees. D is short for degree. And it gives me minus one, which is exactly the cos of pi. Sine is um, the sine of uh, a radian angle. So if I say pi over two gives me one. So sine of pi over four is that sine d of 45 is also the same value. Tan is short for tangent. I can give a tangent of pi over 4. And it's going to give me 1 because it's the tangent of 45 degrees is uh, equal to 1. And I guess I can do tangent D for 45 and it gives me 1 again. Um, another command to convert values between radian and degrees is rad to degree. And I can change the value from pi over 3 from radian to degree, and it gives me 60. I can also do a degree to rad. If I do 45, it gives me this number, which would be equal to pi over 4, which is basically the same thing. We can also do a10 of 1, which gives me this number, and I'm not sure if there is A10D, but let's just try. A10D gives the uh, inverse in terms of degrees. So A10D of one should give me 45, which does. There is another value or another um, aspect in A10 is A102. So if I just do A10, Two, we can see that instead of giving, instead of receiving two values, the one value it receives two values, y and x, and it goes from minus pi to pi. Whereas a10 alone gets one value, and it gives the results in uh, uh, radians. So let me clear this and compare a10 of one gives me this value, give me a10 1 and 1, a10 2 of 1 and 1, gives me the same value. But what if I had a minus 1 here and I didn't do this? Still the values are the same, but sometimes I actually prefer using a10 2 when I have the y and x, especially have complex numbers to deal with. It's a uh, it's more reliable to use a102 than a10 in certain conditions. Speaking of complex number, CPLX, let's say, is equal to a number 2 plus 1i times, should be 1, times 3. Now, CPLX is actually a complex number. As you can see, it has a real number and an imaginary number. So I can say real of C, oh, CPLX, and the image of CPLX. So the real is 2 and the imaginary is 3. And complex numbers also have uh, amplitudes and phases. So AP, ABS of CPLX is going to be 3.6056, which is basically the square root of 
2 squared plus 3 squared. It's the same value. It also has the phase angle, which we can get from angle CPLX. and gives me the radians. So if I change this to red to degree angle of CPLX, it should give me the degree of the uh, phase angle in my complex number. EXP is for exponential. I can use that. So let's say E is equal to EXP of uh, 2. So it's A to the 2. But I can also write that to create a complex number. So E, if it was EXP, say 2i, I think it works, gives me a complex number. It has a value for, it has a real part and an imaginary part. As you can see, A is, e is complex. And I can say ABS of E, well, it should be ABS, not EBS, of E. And it's 1. That's because I didn't have a value here, which basically is 1. Then I can also say angle of E. It gives me 2. That's because of that value over there. So these are some of the functions that we would be using uh, in the scripts, sine, cos, tangents, a tangents, uh, or arc tangents. Uh, you can also do cosh of a number, which is uh, hyperbolic cos and cinch of a number. And if you don't know what they are, you can just do help cinch in hyperbolic sine, which is a um, hyperbolic sine of the element x. And you can also do a cinch, which is the arc cinch. And um, this uh, concludes the basic um, overview of some of the functions that we can use in um, MATLAB. Besides that, we have Bessel functions um, that could be used in MATLAB as well, which are complicated, and I will explain them as we go into more complicated scripts to get actual, say, acoustics-related or vibrations-related problems.